On day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental snake. I was in the savanna with my mom. Son, you have no idea how special you are. Out of nowhere, villagers burst through our home and began to attack the area with their brute strength. No, my home! An elemental snake does exist! Perfect. Capture them! Within an instant, a cage was dropped down onto my mother. Mom! Bozo, run! I ran for my life, but the scary pillagers were hot on my trail until... You're not going anywhere! Blah! Out of panic, I shot out ice, completely freezing him. Whoa, I must have elemental powers. Oh, he is perfect for our business. Business? I turned around and was completely surrounded. And within an instant, I was captured. On day two, I was thrown inside of a cage. Ah, where am I? Ooh, an elemental snake. This is the best exhibit ever. I'm in an exhibit? No, where's my mom? Anger filled within me, causing me to shoot fire out. Because of this, I was able to open up my cage. Never mind, I hate this exhibit. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Now tell me where my mother is or I'll bite you. I slithered after the two villagers until reaching a clearing, only to see that I was in the center of a zoo. Oh no, a snake, a scary snake. Because of the ruckus, a pillager guard soon arrived. An escapee, where? Oh no, I quickly ran through the nearest crack in the wall right before he could spot me. Okay, too close. If they find me, I'm a goner. Just then, a fire frog urgently hopped in front of me. Whoa! Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. You gotta help me. With what? A large vulture then swooped in, almost capturing us. With that! On day three, the frog and I were avoiding the vulture. Ah! Take cover! This here is my exhibit, and you two are my lunch. Uh, that's it. We're so done for. Not if we work together. Come on! The vulture kept trying to swoop down and eat us, but we weren't going down without a fight. I would bite at him every chance he got close enough, and the frog would shoot out tiny blasts of fire as well. With our teamwork, the vulture didn't stand a chance and retreated. I will be back for you! <laughs> That's right! Back off! Thanks for the help back there. Hey, we make a pretty good team. Yeah, we do. Because of our new bond, something began to happen to me. My tail grew longer and my health had increased. I felt stronger and now had full mastery over my fire element. Whoa, I think you just somehow made me stronger. I'm glad to have another friend. The minister took my family away from me. Me too. We should form a team together. It looks like we have a lot in common. Yeah, come on. I had the perfect place to hide away in. On day four, I followed the fire frog until reaching an abandoned desert exhibit. This place has been abandoned for a while. Then it's perfect. The two of us went to work on building up our very own homes. The security in this place was through the roof. And I knew if I wanted to take down the minister and save my mom, then staying hidden was the best option. And done. After finishing, I noticed that our exhibit had a strange tunnel leading somewhere unknown. Let's see what's in here. I began to explore the unknown cavern until that's creepy. As I searched, I found a chest that had a strange map inside of it. Whoa. Before I got to read it though, I was swatted aside. Ah! No. Why is there someone in our home? Because we don't have a front door to lock, genius! The two of them then looked at me and flew in to attack. I thought I was surely done for, but I had forgotten. I can control fire now. I fought them back using my newly mastered element. Because of this, the two of them fled. That's right. I'm elemental. 
Just then, the skeleton horse came alive. Who are you? I represent all past zoo animals that have been kept here against their will. Do you think you can help me then? I'm trying to take down the minister. If you wish to stand a chance, you must find all six elemental animals. Together, you can form a team like no other and possibly take down this zoo. Good luck. With that, the skeleton horse's soul left. Where do I even begin? I finally took a look at my map. The ice exhibit. What are the odds? I know where to begin looking. On day five, I waited until after business hours to sneak my way through the zoo. I used my small size to narrowly avoid the security guard's sight until... They found this one trying to escape. Please, it's just a misunderstanding. Oh, really? The minister charged up an attack and used magic like no other, completely taking down the chicken. What a pity. Oh, well. Now, find that elemental snake. He is in big trouble trouble. With that, they walked away. He's that strong? I have to stop him and save my mom. I was able to make it to the ice exhibit, but as I entered, a pressure plate? Oh no, the ground gave out below me. Ah! Within an instant, a group of penguins were surrounding me. State your reason for being here. I'm an elemental snake. Look, I I'm just here looking for an ice animal. Ah! He's a snake? How do we know for sure? Dude, look at me. They both rushed in to attack, but I used my fire element to hit them aside. Yeah, he's elemental. Just then, I heard a cry and looked over <laughs> to see the ice penguin. You, I need your help. I plan on stopping the minister. Can't you see I'm dealing with my own problem? problems right now <laughs> uh what's wrong on day six i was brought up and into their ice exhibit but it was battle torn Ugh. one of my compadres was taken by the conjurer uh who he's this zoo's number one magician i'll help you with whatever you need but only if you can bring him back Okay, deal. I left and followed the penguins' directions to the Conjurer's main magic show. Whoa, it's an entire theater over here. I searched throughout until finding a mysterious hat sitting on a table. Cool hat. I touched it, but as I did, something began to happen. I was immediately sucked into it. Whoa, a real magic hat? In front of me was intricate parkour leading towards the exit and in in the center of it stranded the penguin help hold on i began to jump through the parkour it was tough this hat was full of magic and even had magical throwing cards wildly flying around whoa thankfully though i was able to make it to the penguin just in time i'm here to get you out of here we were close to escaping the hat but just then the entire thing began to shake within an instant we were pulled out! Whoa! The two of us were now on the main stage, and in front of us was the conjurer. Well, well, well. Look what I pulled out of my hat. On day seven, we were the main act in the Conjurer's show. I love magic. Me too. Make them disappear. Oh, I will. <laughs> Not a chance. We began to fight as I charged in towards him. Unfortunately for me, though, he would just vanish every chance he could. He was an expert at his tricks and shot out stunning attacks that would teleport me randomly. Ugh, yuck. I think I'm gonna be sick. With one more hit, I was thrown against the wall. Ugh. Any last words, you useless reptile? Before the conjurer could shoot out another spell, he was temporarily frozen. <gasps> I did not see that coming. Behind him was the ice penguin. You, you helped me. And you found my penguin. Private. Oh, private. I will happily join your side. Because of this, I began to upgrade once again. I now had 15 hearts and felt way stronger. Whoa, I now have mastery over the ice element. Awesome. Time to die.
On day eight, the conjurer rushed in again, but I was able to shoot out strong ice attacks towards him. He still tried his best to avoid my attacks and hit me with hard hits of his own. But now with my new element by my side, I was able to use both fire and ice to take him down. Yes, I did it. Worst magic show ever. Oh. I uh, loved it. <laughs> That's what I thought. With that, I quickly left the Conjurer's magic show with the penguins. I gotta admit, you have some guts. Taking down the minister won't be easy, especially with his army by his side. That's why I'm creating an army of our own. Well, my name's Skipper. Here, take this. He threw me over a banana? What am I supposed to do with this? It's for the next elemental animal. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Oh, well, thanks. I made it back to my base and began to build up Skipper and his team their own igloo to stay in. From there, they took over and added lots of gadgets and tech inside of it as well. Where did you get all of this from? You'd be surprised what you can steal from gift stores. Ah, uh, speaking of, if we really want to take down the minister, we're gonna need some more supplies and weaponry. Huh, I'll see what I can find. On days 9 to 10, I made it to the entrance to the gift store. Inside was countless animal-themed items and food. Whoa, but no weapons. Just then, a doorway opened up and an absorber walked out. Oh no! Weird. Anyways, time to go make fun of those dumb seagulls. He left revealing a very intricate laser hallway. It was jam-packed with guards, but at the end of it was a weapons vault. There's no way I can do this alone. As I was distracted, I was hit. Ah! Wait, what the? What are you? I saw that I had dropped my banana, and it immediately picked it up. No, wait, that's mine! I began to chase the plant thief throughout the zoo. Dude, come on, can't we just talk? Is that a snake chasing after a plant? Jerry, listen to yourself. You sound crazy. Oh. I chased after it until we entered a jungle-like exhibit. Inside of it was a guard pushing a monkey against the wall. You aren't useless, you boring monkey. No customers want to see you. I should just close down your exhibit permanently. Hey, I ran in and shot at him with my eyes, completely freezing him in place. After a second second glance, I could now see that in front of me was the earth monkey. On days 11 to 12, the plant walked up and gave the banana to the monkey. Ah, uh, good boy. Wait, that's your pet? You do not belong here. Leave it once. Hey, the monkey moved very weakly, but climbed up the tree. Thankfully for me though, I was able to parkour and follow close behind. Look, I need your help. I'm too weak to help you. I'm barely fed. All the banana trees here have died out. But... But what? I know of a beautiful banana tree sapling located in the farm. But with the guard dog, it's no use. Don't worry. I'll go get that sapling if you join my team. George agreed. And I left and arrived at the entrance of the zoo's farm. Okay, just gotta find the banana tree sapling and get out. I bet I could take on that guard dog easily. Uh, I turned to see that their guard dog was a large ravager crocodile. Spoke too soon? Ah! I ran for my life while the dog was chasing after me, trying to take me down. I obviously wasn't paying attention to where I was running though, because I walked over some loose leaves and fell. On days 13 to 14, I landed in a small hideaway hole. Ugh. <laughs> ah! Wait, are you guys scarecrows? Yeah, we used to live up there in that farm until the pillagers brought Lily. She's a biting jerk. Her name is Lily? I know. Terrifying, isn't it? Would you guys be interested in teaming up and taking her down? With that, the scarecrows agreed. We emerged out of the hole and immediately began to all fight against Lily. She was very strong and very angry. If we weren't careful, she could mow us down in a single hit. Ah! 
I looked and saw a strange chest in the farm that was locked. After burning it down, I saw that in it was a bone. Lily charged in towards me again, but I held the bone out. Whoa! Wait, what? I saw that Lily was waiting there patiently. Wait, you want this? She nodded and jumped around excitingly. Oh, uh, here you go. I threw Lily her bone and she was happier than ever. No wonder she was so angry. Those pillagers must have taken it away from her. Whoa, you did it. You said you were looking for a banana tree sapling? Yeah, I am. On days 15 to 16, the scarecrows brought me to the top of the farm building. And there, sitting on a grass block, was the banana tree sapling. Yes! Thanks for helping us! But we then heard barking coming from outside. What's that? We walked out to see Lily was barking at hay bales? Huh? Within an instant, they jumped up, revealing themselves to be hiding pillagers. What the heck? We have our eyes and ears and everywhere. Wait until the minister hears about this. We have finally found you. They all jumped in and began to blast at us with crazy strong explosions. Gah! Go! Leave now! We hesitantly left, leaving one of the scarecrows behind. No! My brother! Those pillagers will pay. I promise they will. Now hurry and head back to my base before they spot you. The scarecrow and Lily headed off as I reached the jungle exhibit again. Ah! Oh, do you have it? Here you go. The earth monkey was very excited and used his earth powers to grow the tree instantly. Whoa! He ate all the bananas he could and felt much better. That's more like it. I'll happily help you take down this zoo. Because he said this, I began to upgrade once again. I grew larger, now had 20 hearts, and had full mastery over the earth element. Awesome. On day 17 to 18, the earth monkey and I teamed up. We made it back to the gift shop and saw the weapons vault at the end of the hallway. Okay, now we just have to figure out how to get past all of those guards. The monkey though walked up and used his earth element. The floor around the guards started to rise and rise, causing them to be separated from the main hallway. It, it won't hold them for long. Whoa, that was sick. The two of us made it inside of the weapons vault and began to take anything we could could. Nice. With all of this, we could really put up a fight against the illagers. Yes, we can. That minister deserves what's coming to him. He's treated thousands of animals wrong. I just hope my mom's still okay. Just then, an alarm started to blare through the building. Oh no. Come on. We gotta go. On days 19 to 21, I made it back to base with the earth monkey. Call me George. I quickly built George up his very own jungle treehouse to stay in. And afterwards, I made sure that both Lily and the Scarecrow had a nice crop-filled home as well. Man, three elemental animals so far. I feel really proud about my progress. If the minister is separating thousands of animals like he did with me and my mom, then all of this has to stop. It's not right. It isn't. And we may stand a chance against the minister all because of you. Now, while you were gone, I was busy myself and found this at your front door. Op threw me over a mysterious note. We have heard of your mission, and therefore, you're invited to our secret club. Connect the key to the dolphin's heart and be granted access. Along with the note was a golden key. Whoa, a secret club? Sounds like I gotta check this out. Hop and I both left our exhibit, searching for anything that resembled a dolphin's heart. It wasn't long until we came across a large dolphin statue. Whoa, this has to be the place. On days 22 to 26, I walked up and saw the heart of the dolphin statue was a disguised choker box. Whoa! After placing the key inside, a secret entrance opened up. Yeah, obviously I can't go down there. Good luck, Fozo. Thanks. I headed deep under. Thankfully, because I was elemental, I could breathe underwater. After following the tunnel long enough, I was able to reach a cave entrance. Those who wish to join the secret club must pay in golden treasure. I don't have any. Tough luck. 
Ouch. I guess I gotta find some treasure. I explored the underwater caves until making it into an abandoned sunken ship. Oh, score. Inside of it was lots of golden ingots and even a cool slingshot. This can actually come in handy. As I grabbed the gold though, Skellywags flooded onto the ship. Yar! He's taken from our lost pirate ship! Come on, guys. What's gold gonna do for you? You're already dead. Gah, rude. You will pay. They charged in again. Because I was underwater, I unfortunately couldn't use my fire element. Ah, uh, this sucks. I pulled out my slingshot and began to shoot at them any chance I could. And with that, I was able to scare them away. All right, time to join this club. On days 27 to 29, I brought the gold back to the underwater door. Here you go. Is this enough treasure for you? Yes, I love gold. Give me, give me, give me. I gave the door the gold and a passageway opened up in front of me. Once on the other side, I saw that there was an entire underwater town. Whoa. Finally, you have made it, Elemental Snake. Yeah, how have you heard of me, by the way? Look around. Us underwater creatures have made this secret town to hide away from the minister. Countless of us have died just for his amusement. But something bad happened, which is why we invited you here. The dolphin quickly swam me over to their town's water throne, but it was empty. Our leader, he went out to get supplies for us, but he hasn't returned at all. I'm afraid something bad happened to him. If you can go get him back for us, you can count us water creatures on your side. Works for me. The dolphin brought me to where he left, which was through an ominous tunnel leading upward. I followed it, staying cautious until what the within an instant i was pulled out of the water ah! Ah! i was now on the surface and surrounded by players Charlie, was that snake like in the water it's like a water snake i don't know i'm elemental actually have you guys seen a water king around here the players weren't even paying attention to me though and threw a potion of poison right on top of me ah the snake is perfect for the water competition oh. my vision then started to blur what where am i after opening my eyes i saw that i was in a water tank with countless people all sitting in the stands. Welcome to the annual zoo water competition, where we'll see who's stronger, this weird water snake or that sick water sea bear. I'm sorry, what? Just then, a loud roar sounded off, and a water sea bear swam out from the darkness. Another elemental animal. You must be the water king. Hey, you. Before I was able to say anything, though, he swam at me with the intent to kill on days 33 to 35 the sea bear bit right into me making me lose a ton of hearts no stop it i'm sorry but i have to do this i cannot die here my people need me too much the sea bear was doing everything he could to take me down do you mean the dolphins i'm here because of them i, I was sent to find you as i said this the sea bear stopped Look around. There is no escape. Every chance these players and pillagers get, they just treat us poorly. Yeah, but none of the animals have united before. If we all do, we can stand a chance and have a revolution against the zoo. As I said this, I was shot by an arrow. Ah! Dude, fine! What are you even doing? The sea bear roared and jumped out of the water. What the? You can do that? Ah! He was jumping through the stands, taking down person after person with deadly water bites. Whoa! I jumped up and helped him take down the last remaining one. You have a new way of thinking. We can fight back. Exactly. I'm glad you're part of the team. Because of this, I began to grow once again. I now had 25 hearts and had full control over the water element. Ha <laughs> ha! Sick.
On days 36 to 39, we return to the coral town with the water sea bear. My king, you've returned. Why, yes. And it's all thanks to the kindness of this snake. But I fear this has only shown me that our home, it's not safe anymore. We can only hide out for so long. I think I know just the place for you all to stay. The sea bear and I made it safely back to my base, where we built up a coral pool for the dolphins and fish to live in. Truthfully, I may never be able to repay you for this kindness, Fozo. Don't mention it. I just hope that together we can stop the minister and find my mom. Oh, leave that to us. We can swim around the zoo and see what we can find. Thanks. But then, out of nowhere, one of the fish was picked up by the vulture. Help me! Hey, get back here! On days 40 to 44, I chased after the vulture as he carried the fish over the zoo and into the aviary. I ran inside to see a beautiful exhibit with exotic birds flying everywhere. Look, sir, the fish, they have returned to the surface. I then looked up to see a majestic air toucan resting on a tree branch, the next elemental animal. Good work, finally, some good food. Some of the birds began to fly towards the fish to eat him. No! I used my mastery of the water element to shoot out water, which made the birds scatter away. Oh, sweet relief. What is this? Who do you think you are? I am the elemental snake, and I'm not gonna let you eat this fish. Look, I'm here to bring all the zoo animals together. How dare you defy me? The birds surrounded me, and the toucan summoned a shield of pure air to block the exit. Uh, okay, everyone, just calm down. I, I need your help. I'll do whatever it takes for you guys to join my team. Ha! All right, Snake. Let us see if you can stand up to the scavenger's challenge. On days 45 to 47, the air toucan led me outside of the aviary to watch as civilians ran around with all kinds of food. Every animal must prove they have the ability to survive in this world. Look at all the disgusting humans. Paying for food to be cooked and made for them. Why do they when you could scavenge? Exactly, my feathered friend. Your challenge is this, Snake. You will race the vulture to bring back three separate pieces of food back here to me. If you can do that, you will earn the right to talk to me about your cause. All right. Sounds like a deal. Where do we begin? Without a moment of hesitation, the vulture took off into the sky. Hey! I quickly slithered out in search of anyone with food until I found a villager eating a burger. Aha! I'll be taking that! Oh, snake! They freaked out and dropped the burger. Ah, that was easy. But as I went to grab it... Oh, dude, seriously? Gotta be quicker than that! <laughs> On days 48 to 52, I went out in search of more food when I found a player running down the sidewalk with a pie. I used my ice element to turn the ground into ice blocks, which made him slip. Whoa, whoa! I quickly grabbed the pumpkin pie that he dropped and slithered away before he noticed. Oh man, first the fishing tournament and now this? I then found a villager who was tossing bread to a group of ducks. Here you go, little buddies. Huh? Aw, he seems kind of nice. But I then saw the vulture starting to swoop down towards him. Oh, no, you don't. I used my basic air element to summon a gust of wind that pushed the villager out of the path. Whee! Hey! Sorry, you gotta be quicker than that. I ran up and grabbed some of the bread he dropped. But the vulture also took some from one of the ducks. Seems like we're all tied up. Yeah, we are. The two of us turned at the same time to see a little girl with a piece of candy in her hands. <laughs> Please don't. He quickly started to fly towards her. The little girl saw us. <coughs> no, get back here. We both chased after her as she frantically ran around the zoo. I won't lose. 
As he said this, the girl dropped her candy. We both made a break for it when we realized the noise had caught the attention of an absorber. What are you two doing out of your exhibits? On days 53 to 56, we began to fight as the absorber used his massive hammer to try and take me down. He tore through the area recklessly as I tried to fight back, but he was so strong. He was about to strike the vulture. No! I used my earth elm, which made him stuck in place. Stay away from him! What? What? Why would you do that? Because I'm trying to help all of the animals here, dude. That's what I'm trying to. But before I could finish my sentence, I was hit back. Ah! He was about to slam into me with another powerful hit. But the vulture flew in the way and took the hit for me. No! He crashed into a nearby wall, incredibly hurt. <laughs> you dumb animals are so useless. My rage built up and I blasted the pillager with my fire element, finally taking him down. Are you okay? You know, we may have not seen eye to eye at first, but what you're doing, it's the right thing. I was just too prideful to see it. Suddenly, because of all the noise, pillager guards started to rush in. Here he is, sir. The minister was now in front of me, finally meeting me face to face. Ah, uh, there you are. I've heard about your little escapades, Elemental Snake. That all ends here. Stay away from him! Shut it, you! In one fatal attack, the vulture was killed! No! Oh, was he your friend? Oh, how adorable! I was so angry, but knew I couldn't face him now. So, I used my earth element to shake the ground, causing the tower to fall between the two of us. No! Stop him! No, no, no! Sir, sir, what would you like us to do? Find that snake! Search every exhibit! Security should be on the highest alert! I began to navigate around the zoo to get back to the aviary, but more and more pillager guards were flooding the area. I can't let them see me, or I'm done for! I stealthily moved around the park, slithering undercover and using groups of villagers to hide from the patrols. Uh, you are most definitely not a villager. Oh, shut it, dude. Okay, I'm almost there. Ah, what the? Shh. I looked up and watched as more guards came barreling by. He said, search everywhere. Go, go, go. Oh, thanks. Don't mention it. Now, come on. We gonna get to safety. On day 60 to 63, the Air Toucan and I made it safely back into the aviary. I'm sorry I was so brash before. I just know my people deserve a better life than what the pillagers do to us here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't save the vulture. I saw what happened. If my right wing bird fought for you, then I would be happy to stand with you against the minister for him. Because of this, I felt the power of my elements begin to surge as I upgraded again. I now had 30 hearts and complete control over the air element. Yes, thank you. Now we need to leave here. If either of us stay, it will put a target on my people's backs. I completely agree. I have a place for us to hide. Follow me. On days 64 to 68, we made it back to base. I immediately got to work, building up the toucan, a safe place to stay. There you go. Just one more elemental mob, and this zoo is ours. I went over to see that the penguins had built up an armory with the weapons I got all those days ago. Yes, sir. Private and Kowalski have been hard at work. We might actually be able to pull this off. Don't sound too confident. Just then, a random giraffe burst through our exhibit. What the? Who are you? Oh, finally found you guys. Uh, I don't mean harm. It's just my friend. Something horrible has happened. What? I followed the giraffe, staying hidden in the trees. And there, ahead of us, was a large elephant statue. It was being guarded like crazy. All of this for a statue? That's the thing. It's not just a statue. That used to be my friend, the lightning elephant. But the minister, he's gone mad and put a curse on him, turning him into that. No, there has to be a way I can help him. Just then, I got hit by a mysterious animal. Ah, what the? Because of this, I was thrown straight into a sewage line and began to flow downstream. 
On day 69 to 73, I made it into a gross sewage exhibit. Yuck, gross. I quickly got out of the water and saw a trash-like civilization was built here. One man's trash is another man's lifestyle. Wah! Wait, a raccoon? Us raccoons hear everything. And I know you're trying to free that lightning elephant. Okay, and what's it to you? <laughs> Follow me. Bell. I followed the raccoon until I saw a mountaintop overlooking the zoo with a large cafeteria on it. And at the top, that's right, lightning. And right there is the key to bringing that elephant back. Really? Wait a minute. Why are you even helping me? I bet you want to know. Don't worry about it. Let's just get inside of that cafeteria first. The raccoon gathered a couple of his men, and together, we all made our way to the mountain. The security in the zoo was higher than ever before. If I don't hurry, I may be too late. We successfully burst through the doors and made it inside. Here, take this. What's this? A bottle? That's right. You're gonna have to catch some lightning, pal. With this? Are you hearing yourself right now? It sounds crazy, but you'd be surprised the amount of info we hear in the sewers. It's the key to bringing the elephant back. And while you do that, the group of raccoons all face the cafeteria. It's time us boys finally eat some gourmet food. To the kitchen, boys! Take down that beauty chef! Huh, that's why they helped me? All right, time to catch some lightning. On day 74 to 77, I made it to the rooftop of the cafeteria. And just as the raccoon said, lightning was shooting down like crazy here. Okay, just have to get some in a bottle. How hard can this be? Ah! Noted. I was trying the best that I could, but the lightning was just too random. Ah, uh, come on. No matter what I did, I couldn't seem to catch up with its hits. You serious? I then looked up and saw that this building was made out of copper. That's it. Knowing this, I quickly mined some and used it to make a ton of lightning rods. Aha, this should hopefully work. I was struck with lightning, but because I was holding the bottle, I was able to catch some. Whoa, lightning in a bottle. Sick. As I finished, I heard, what the heck is that? Uh, what's going on? I ran downstairs inside of the cafeteria to see that the raccoons were panicking. That chef isn't puny! It isn't puny! I turned to see bursting out of the kitchen was a large pillager-like monster. What? On day 78 to 80, the spider pillager began shooting webs at us, trying to take us down. I am the lunch lady. Time to eat. Okay, there's no way this should be legal. The lunch lady pushed forward and used her crazy web abilities to get us stuck to the ground. I'll never complain about trash ever again. Yeah, uh, hold on. I fought back against the lunch lady using all the elements I had gained along the way. Thanks to my new air element, I was able to keep her pushed back. Go boys, eat this. The raccoons took advantage of this and from there began to shoot out trash right at her. She was getting overwhelmed and together we were able to take her down. Yes. Okay, that was some weird stuff there. Seriously. I mean, I'd imagine her food probably isn't safe to eat. But before I could even finish, the raccoons were already digging through the kitchen. Ah, jeez. How delicious. Pass me some of that salami. Glad to see that you guys got what you wanted to. You helped us. So, the last thing you gotta do is unleash that bottle on the statue. Then voila, elephant has returned. All right, sounds easy enough. On days 81 to 85, I returned to the elephant statue. All right, gotta do this quick. Before the guards could take notice, I opened up the lightning bottle, which caused lightning to shoot at the statue. Whoa, what's going on? A lightning orb exploded out from it and said, The power of lightning shall return. It 
flash. And in a huge explosion, the guards were wiped out. Whoa. The lightning elephant was then transformed back into her normal self. Yes. Look at you. You, you did this? Yeah, I'm the elemental snake, and I need your help to stop the minister. He's the one who trapped me. Of course I'll help you. Because of this, I upgraded one final time. I gained 10 more hearts and now had full mastery over my lightning element. Yes, I'm fully elemental. Just then, a voice rang through the skies. Kill them all. Oh no, what's going on? On days 86 to 90, I sent the lightning elephant back to my base as I snuck towards the shouting, only to see a large group of pillagers ready for battle. And all of them were looking up at the minister. Wait a minute, my mom. I've had it with these ungrateful creatures. I've closed down the zoo until every last one of those elemental freaks is dead. The pillagers all ran out and started to capture any animals that they could find. What? No, my boy is innocent. Oh, your boy is in a lot of trouble. This is all his fault. No, it's yours for what you have done to all of these poor animals. Why, you? The minister drug my mom inside and placed her in a cage inside of his office. You are the perfect bait for your little runt of a son. He'll be here soon. And when he is, I'll kill him myself. No, I need to get back with the others and stop this. On days 91 to 94, I rushed back to my base to see that all of the elemental animals were gathering together. We need to run! The minister! He's too powerful! I don't know. We may stand a chance. I, I'm still not fully recovered. I, I agree with the fish bear thing. Fozo! Oh, thank goodness you're back! What are we going to do? I slowly walked up in between them all. Look, I know that all of you are scared. I am too, but the minister, he has ruined countless lives with this stupid zoo. And he's hurt so many animals too. And we can't just run away and keep letting him get away with it. I know each and every one of you have lost someone close to you. And I'm not leaving here without my mother. So, who's with me? On days 95 to 99, I approach the minister and his army of pillager guards. Well, look who it is, and all alone. Any last words before my men tear you apart? Yeah, and I just want to give you the chance to give back my mother now and shut this zoo down. Oh, Ozo. Oh, isn't that cute? Get him, boys! The pillagers began to rush in, but a large crack of lightning stopped them in their tracks. <laughs> All of my elemental friends then came rushing in. George! Pop burned away groups at a time with his fiery attacks as George jumped in and slammed into the ground, breaking open the caged animals. Yes! But as I was distracted, one of the pillagers tried to take me down, but was thrown aside by another lightning bolt. I've never felt so alive! Go on, Fozo! We got this! I looked up towards the minister as he went back into his office. It's time to end this. I used my air element to fly above the battlefield and headed right towards him. On day 100, I was finally ready to take on the minister. You know, in another world, you could have been my star attraction. But then you had to go and make me do this. You brought this upon yourself. It's over. You'll have to take this zoo from my dead hands. We began to fight as he would unleash blasts of magical attacks. Not only that, but he would also summon crazy spectral hands that tried to crush me. Whoa! I was fighting with everything I had. Everything I had done on my adventure was for this exact moment. I can't fail. I can't. 
I blasted at him with my fire, but he retaliated by summoning a spectral ravager. It rushed towards me, but thankfully I was able to dodge, causing it to crush my mom's cage. Mom! I'm okay, keep fighting. She made a break for it as I got hit aside. Ah! I was now only down the one part. Ah! <laughs> Was it all worth it? Worth all the pain just for me to kill you too? I thought back to all my friends, all the things they had done to help me, and I felt their elemental powers well up in me. I focused that energy into a final elemental blast that sent the minister flying back. No! No! Because of this, I was finally able to take him down. Yes. And with that, the zoo was shut down and all of my animal friends could finally live in peace.